the Volusia County Public Library. In this video, you will learn the technique of water marbling and how to use it to decorate items you might have around your house, like this recycled glass yogurt jar. Here's what you'll need. A large container that you'll fill with water, preferably a container not used with food. Three or four colors of nail polish that you'd like to use for your design. An old pencil or similar item to use to break the water marbling on the surface between your item and the rest of the water. The item you want to water marble. I'm going to be using a recycled glass yogurt jar. And some paper towels to cover your surface area in case it gets messy to put your wet item on to dry and maybe to use to clean up. Let's get started. Start by filling your bowl or container with water. You will want it to be deep enough to submerge your item to the level you want the design to go to without it touching the bottom of the container. For example, I only want my water marbling to go up the side of my container to here, not necessarily to the top. So I'll need the water to be deep enough for this to be the top without touching the bottom. Sprinkle dots of your first nail polish color on the surface of the water. Some dots may spread so thin you can't really see them, and others will stay more concentrated. Continue this step with the other colors you'd like to use. Try putting dots inside of other colors. The faster you move, the less time the nail polish has to dry on the surface. You can use a toothpick or pencil to swirl the design at this point, but I kind of like the dot look. Decide which part in the water looks best to you and start to submerge your item. When you've reached the depth you want or the coverage you want, you can use a toothpick or pencil to clean the rest of the nail polish away so when you bring the item out of the water, the excess nail polish won't cover anymore. Or let it. It all depends on what you want it to look like. Place your item on paper towels to dry. You'll want to make sure none of the nail polish surface is touching anything else. After your item has dried, display with pride or give it as a gift. Remember, this technique can take some practice, so if your first shot wasn't great, give it another try. And remember, stay crafty, Volusia.